Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and explode this thing. So say if I hear it hit the three key, it goes, uh, uh three key, ooh! Hello YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we're going to be doing something a wee bit different. Now, we're going to go ahead and call it Airplane Survival or Crash Survival. But we have two creations that do something that I've never seen done before in Stormworks. Uh, they actually destroy themselves and I guess kind of blow up. I don't know what I want to call it, but we're going to be checking these out here today. Uh, we're also going to check out some more flying creations. We'll kind of stick to that theme here today. So all the uh, workshop links will be down in the description like always. So if you want to download anything that you've seen this episode, they're there. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel and let's do this. Alright, so we're gonna walk over here to the hangar. So we do have some more multiplayer coming up and we will be doing one more episode So we'll probably have like three Stormworks this week. Uh, there has been an update It's got some new missions and a new island and we'll probably check that out next episode But first thing is first. Let's go ahead and load up our creations here and check out this plane All right, so we have a destructible plane and a destructible private jet now Obviously the private jets gonna be bigger. So we're gonna save it for last so, I think I know how this works. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. Alright, is it laggy? Oh, I could see it fold together. So, what I'm thinking, I'm thinking that there's gonna be a switch, maybe a sensor, I'm not really sure. Something in here is gonna separate some pieces, and actually, it's not very visible. I thought maybe you would see some magnets and connectors, but dang, I don't see anything. So, I'm assuming, uh... Okay, I don't even know how this works. Let's go ahead and just hop into here. I, I was thinking like, oh yeah, I'm going to be able to tell you guys this is how this does this, but nope. No clue. All right, so we got ourselves a pretty nice little plane here. Let's go ahead and toggle. Oh, is that not? Well, that one closes. Okay, there we go. All right, so it looks like a, a small passenger plane here. Let's go and hop up in the front. So we got our brakes engine. I'm looking for a button that might... Oh, explode. <laughs> Wait, the button's already on. What does that mean? So is it just a one click and explodey button? What are these other, uh, I'm afraid to hit these other toggle buttons. Let's go ahead and hit them real quick. All right, the plane didn't explode, did it? Okay, no, we look good. All right, so that's the button I guess we want to click for the explodey bits. This is going to be weird because we're going to be inside of a plane as it crashes here in Stormworks. Okay, so let's go ahead and throttle up here. I guess we're going to turn our brakes off. All right, you know, we could probably just straight up lift off right here. I think we can. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, that is very nimble. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that actually gets up in the air. Oh, no, 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 we're not doing the explodey bit yet. Hold on, go straight up. Whoa, okay, this thing is, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh, and, okay, let's try to correct the, am I just doing this? Wait, what is going on? Okay, here we go. All right, no. No, I should probably have hit the boom button by now because we would have died on the uh, on the runway here. Okay, actually, we're not even on the runway. Let's try to get back up in the air. Let's try to stabilize it. It gets up in the air really quick, but... Oh, this thing is... Uh, I'm having some issues here. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Flying-wise, I can't get this thing to stabilize. Like, either it's extreme up or extreme down here. And we're in the water. Well, let's see if we can... I think we're stuck. All right, let's try that again. All right, here we go once again. I'm getting the hang of this plane now. I, I think if I fly in a straight line, I can keep it. Uh, I can keep it up. I just gotta get used to the controls. Yeah, like right now, I'm countering as much as possible to try to get it to. Yeah, it just climbs pretty slow. There we go. And we're probably gonna be in endless loops. Nope. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and explode this thing. So say if I heard it hit the three key, it goes. Uh, uh three key. Oh! Dude! Dude, wait, it just broke apart even more! That was incredible. Oh, I did not expect that to blow up in that many pieces. Dude, look at the piece over there! Is that- I wonder if that's what the uh, engine's still attached to. Han, let's get out- oh, that worked so great! Man, if we were doing this- oh, we, we might have to try some multiplayer. Yeah, if you were in the, uh, where'd the, uh- oh yeah, it's uh, actually going to the bottom here. Man, if you would have been where the passengers were, that actually separated from that. 
That is crazy. I almost we got to do that again. I, I think that piece over there is just flying right now. <laughs> okay, we've got a bigger one to do this with, folks. So we're gonna it's gonna get bigger than this. But that was our that's our first initial test here. I could probably play with these all day. Hold on, let's get back in the uh, in the driver's seat here or the pilot seat. All right, so real quick, we're going to detonate this thing on the uh, the ground. That way I can pick this thing apart a little bit better. So when I hit three key, it's all magnets. So I hit three. It goes. It, is it delayed? or? Oh, there it goes. Oh, is the... Can we still actually turn this on? Will those engines stay connected? Oh, they do, even though we're not technically connected. So if I were to go... Oh, <laughs> there those go. That is so cool though. You can see where it's all separated. The cockpit separates, uh, the wing separate, the middle, like the cabin separates. Even the little, wow, everything actually breaks apart. What is that, like eight, nine, ten pieces? Something like that? I don't know, I can't even tell if it's fully broken apart here. Uh, huh, watch this. So when we uh, spawn this thing back in, we can go click the workbench. Uh, when you spawn it back in, it spawns in like that. So you have to really reset it in the uh, on the actual workbench itself. We're going to do that one more time in air. I'd actually like to do that as we're landing. Yeah, with the right scenarios and stuff, you could have a, a really cool, like, survival rescue thing. That's why I'm hoping maybe this, uh, when we try the other plane out, maybe it's a little bit more stable. Uh, let's go ahead and go. I, I don't even know why it's doing that. It just instantly flipped. My only thing is it's probably... <laughs> It's probably the magnets that are doing it. Since the pieces aren't exactly connected, maybe it makes it unstable. Uh, I'm a little worried about the bigger one, but... Alright, let's do it one more time. Alright, we're going to try saying one more time here and see if I can get it up in the air. It's uh, been a little bit of a struggle. We might just need to blow it up again on the runway. Alright, so let's go. I'm not going to put any input. Yeah, it just it does this nosedive thing. And I'm not really sure. You know what? Let's just go full speed and... <laughs> That is still incredible. That's a, it's a really cool concept. I don't know if what's maybe screwing with it is Stormworks physics. And the whole fact this thing is, uh, it's in a multiple pieces. I don't even think I can escape this. Uh, maybe we should, we're going to go ahead and just try the, oh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, what is going on outside? Hold on. Uh, oh, there goes the wing. I think we should try this, uh, Probably in the bigger one. Let's go with the big private jet. Now, if you're asking why I don't have clothes on, I can explain. Uh, the reason I don't have clothes on, I reset the game thinking maybe there was a, some sort of physics bug or something, and I couldn't take this thing off anymore. So I reset the game, and that's why I don't have clothes again. All right, so we're going to go with another one. Same creator. My hope is that the bigger one flies a little better. Uh, maybe because it's just bigger, heavier, and oh boy. Okay, all right. So this is the uh, the private jet version of this destructive plane. I hope to see more of this. I hope to see. Uh, I want to see ships like this. Could you imagine having ships break apart? That'd be cool. All right. So let's go ahead and take a little tour. Uh, there's that. Oh, that's doors there. So we got like a. Oh, this is just straight up a private jet. Got like a TV. You got some more uh, chairs back here. I don't know where we poop at, but I guess that's okay. Is that a escape hatch? Poss no, that's a... Ooh, that's actually... That tells you that's how this thing's connected together. There's one of the magnets. You couldn't really see those in the other one. All right, so this one's got a, a few more buttons. Let's go ahead and crank engines here. Uh, what do we got? Backlights, nav lights, brakes. Oh, let's keep the brakes on, actually. Tail fins. Wait a minute. What's this thing doing? Start it leaning. Uh, the landing gear is folding itself up. That's new. Okay. Let's turn that on. Okay, now that, that would be off. Okay, let's turn that back on. Okay, that's on. Alright, well that's interesting. Alright, so this one, does it have just an explode button? No, it does not. So, it seems like you actually have to break this one apart. So you can do it piece by piece. Okay, I can do that. So let's make sure no vertical stabilizer. No, that's just... Yeah, you break this one apart yourself. Okay, we can do this. All right, here we go. Throttle up. All right. Let's go ahead and start putting everything back. Let's try to get her off the ground. Let's try to avoid using the runway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, folks, I don't know if we're gonna call this airplane survival or get off the runway survival. I'm not really sure. It looks like something's broken on the. Yeah, something's broken on the right side of this plane. Uh, those. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. We are now sub. Ah, let's try it again. Ah, here we go. We're trying to get up in the air once again. It is, uh, this plane does not cooperate. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. It's, uh, its landing gear just folds itself, and I, I, it's gotta be because of the destruction. So, we're gonna keep going full speed here. What if we were to just go... No, I don't wanna put the cockpit off. Telfin! Ooh, that breaks apart. Okay, there goes that. Let's go. Up, 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 and up. <laughs> Man, this is so cool. I just wish it worked so I wish it worked better. Uh oh, and let's open that up. Now, could you imagine coming in coming in for like a crash landing? And this is what you end up with? Oh, uh, you know, I gotta give it one more attempt. I can't, I want to go out of this episode saying that I attempted this multiple times to get these planes off the ground. Uh, so we're going to do it one more time here. Alright, here we go. Yep, it's just stuck. It's broken. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. I just want to get slightly in the air with this one. I mean, we've only had one crash that was actually in the air. The rest of these have been during takeoff. Yeah, we're in an endless death spiral again. Oh, boy. Oh, uh oh wait, 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 wait. You know, if it just wasn't catching... Oh, <gasps> come on, lift! Wait, is the water takeoff? Maybe that's the solution here? Oh, uh, we're up full throttle, right? Yeah, we are. Come on. Come on. Come on, American Airlines. I know you're not this bad. <laughs> Let's, uh... Come on, landing gear up. Let's see if that'll go up real quick. Maybe that's what's holding us down. We're trying. We might just have to do a water crash here. Oh, boy. Nope, we're not going to get up from here. It's just like there's not enough lift and power being generated here. So, what we're going to do, I guess we're going to do a little sinking ship survival here. Here we go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, there it goes. That's so cool how it breaks apart. Oh, oh, actually, we're going to the bottom of the ocean here. All right. Oh, let's get out of this. Man, if we could do that midair, ah, that would be amazing. All right, well, I think it's probably time we move on to the next thing. Like I said, a bit of a concept. Uh, I think it could be mastered. Maybe one day we'll get something that really flies good. I just really think it's because of the way it's attached together that it just it's so unpredictable at the moment. But nonetheless, very cool creation. Alright, so that last creation was pretty cool. Uh, it was a little hard to fly, but it's a really cool working concept. And I do hope that the creator continues on that. But what we're going to be checking out here is a blimp. This kind of looks like a Goodyear blimp. Uh, let's spawn this in. We're going to keep to the skies to do... Oh, that makes a mighty noise. Is this thing about to take off on us? Uh oh, we better get in this. So, yeah, we've got a blimp here in Stormworks. Now, the last thing we're going to be checking out, we do have some uh, World War II craft that we're going to check out. I want to highlight a workshop that has nothing but World War II crafts. But this is another thing that I've been looking for in Stormworks, and I'm not sure how to get into this. Let's try... Can we get to the helm? There we go. All right, so we might want to... Yeah, I might want to close that. we got some water in here. All right, so this is a blimp. It's got a... Uh, it looks like a winch magnet. Or, yeah, there's a winching system on the back. I wonder how much this thing could lift. Uh, looks like wheel brakes. We don't need those yet. Indicator lights. Turn those on. All right. Let's hop up here in the front. So steering. Uh, landing. Actually, was there a, is there a switch somewhere? Is, there, is this thing... Yeah, I guess it's already good to go. All right. So... Oh, how does this thing work, actually? Oh. Check out the inside of that. That's cool. All right. So here we go. Let's go ahead... Oh, oh, no, no, don't hit the crane, don't hit the crane. Oh, uh, there it goes. This thing's actually pretty fast. This is a fast blimp. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So, this thing, uh, supposedly, actually, you can hear it. It's got an altitude hold on it, so you can hear the engines all throttle up and down, up and down, up and down, uh, trying to control itself, so I think it'll stabilize here. Let's go ahead and put the, uh, landing gear up there. 
There we go. All right, so we are in a blimp here in Stormworks. It, it's stable, right? Actually, it feels like the uh, the throttle's being held on, too, because we are booking it. Like, we're <laughs> seriously moving. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead get back in the helm here. How does this thing turn? Does it turn real easy? It's got a pretty wide turning radius, but that's not really surprising at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and keep trying to turn to the left here. Can I assist it a bit with the, uh, actually that's up and down. So up and down, you actually use the, uh, the arrow keys. So we can keep going up, 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 and we steer with the WASD. This thing is booking. This is cool. So we can, uh, we can freely walk around on this. No problem. It's a little tilted over. Can I correct that? Well, let's try to see if we can balance this thing out. No, it just seems like it's got a bit of a lean to it. Now, the question is, this thing's so huge, does the wind affect it any? So, say if I were to say, uh, let's go actually here, and there we go, all the way. All right, so you can see the water. Uh, oh, you know, it feels like it's turning faster now. Uh, I definitely think it's turning faster now. Uh, which way's the wind going? That would be, uh, I think there's actually a tool uh, for the wind here in Stormworks to see which way it's moving. Obviously, the, the waves are blowing one way, but I'm not sure if that's actually with the wind. I don't know how sophisticated this weather system is. I mean, it could be. All right, so we're going to go for a bit of a high wind touchdown here. We're going to try to land this thing on that island. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and start losing some throttle, losing some altitude here. Let's go ahead. We're going to deploy. Which ones are it? Okay, it's one, and we're going to need two for our wheel brakes. All right, so let's go ahead and start losing that throttle. There we go. All right, here we go. We might land on this house or building. This actually looks like a weather station. I don't think we've been on this island. Oh, there we go. Uh, you know, I should probably deploy the uh, the landing gear here. Uh, let's go landing gear. And... Uh, okay, the landing gear feels like it's on a toggle. But actually, not a toggle, a push button now. It doesn't stay up. Okay, it's fine. Uh, we just need to escape the airship here. Uh oh Oh, it's moving. Okay, come on. Let's just get door. There we go. Ah, uh, we've made it. This was a successful landing, I think. Pretty happy with myself. I've never been in this building before. Is this a this is a weather station? This isn't the the new island. There is a a, a new island. It's an observatory, uh, which we'll go over that next episode. The, yeah, this just looks like a plain old weather station island. It's pretty cool looking though. All right. So for the next creations, we have a uh, workshop that is devoted to nothing but World War II. Uh, aircraft and it is absolutely amazing we checked out a b-17 a couple weeks ago and that was the only thing that was on the workshop i believe at the time but now it has grown there's p-51 mustangs there's german fighters uh the german jet is over here there's just a ton of stuff and there's actually some bombers i think there's actually uh the dauntless here i believe is a dive bomber and there's several others you, this p-51's got a drop tank on it uh you've got this he i think it's 111 uh, this is a German bomber, and I believe it's got a payload. Yeah, you can see out here on the bottom, uh, there's some doors. So we're going to spawn this thing in and test it out and see how it works. And oh, that is gorgeous looking. Uh, like I said, it is amazing the shapes people achieve with the parts that you have here at Stormworks. Uh, it's actually a little bit laggy. I'm assuming this thing's carrying a full load. Now, question is, how do we get in it? I see a, uh, I see a button here. I'm assuming... Uh, this opens up. Oh, there it goes. Got a little elevator. Was this the way this thing actually opened up? If it is, that's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so supposedly you can drop bombs in this. I believe the turrets themselves. Oh, oh, are these the? Oh, these are the bombs. Oh, fancy. Uh, now the turrets, I believe, work too. Here's uh, these are bottom. These are the gunners, I guess, on the bottom. There should be a top turret. Oh, there it is. Does this actually... Alright, so I can... Oh, you can rotate this. Oh, that's neat. That is really neat, actually. <laughs> so it's got a little canopy on it. Okay. So that works. Um, Let's get up in the... Uh, I'm assuming... Was there a front gunner? Yeah, here's the front gunner right here. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's climb up in the pilot seat here. Bombay doors. Okay, and there's the bomb releases. All these are on push 
buttons. Uh oh, we're gonna have to figure out how this works. Uh, toggle button, toggle. That was the engines. Okay, there's your propellers. You're up. I wish I knew what all this stuff did. That actually might be your lift. All right, so let's go ahead. It's AD. Uh, do we have control of the tail here? Ooh, I don't know about this. Is this thing gonna lift? I'm trying to figure out the uh, the controls. There's not many listed here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this thing in the air here. No, it's lifting right up. Oh, it's actually quite pleasant. Yeah, it lifts right up. It seems like it might be a little, maybe the weight's off a bit, but that could be the bombs shifting around a bit on the inside. So, okay, we can get it up in the air. Uh, question is, can we, Oh, this is actually really cool looking from in here. Okay, that's bomb bay doors. That actually makes you go up and down. Is there a landing gear button? There's another button over there. Uh, let's hop over and see if we can smash that button real quick. There we go. All right. Did that put up the... One of these buttons puts up the landing gear, and I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, we're just going to keep flying, though. Maybe the landing... No, yeah, the landing gear definitely goes up. You can see where it uh, rests on the inside. I just don't know how to do it. All right, so I want to see how these bombs work. So let's go ahead and level ourselves out. Man, if we get some true destruction physics and explosions in uh, Stormworks, that would be very, very cool. Is that the military base? No, it looks like just the uh, normal... It's like an aircraft island. There's actually a military base on or that does spawn. You have to find it. kind of wish you had the option to pick where you spawn in creative mode uh, to begin with. But anyways, let's go ahead and hit our bomb bay doors. Okay, those have opened up. That's cool. I wonder if we can actually... Hold on, let's try to level this plane out as much as possible. So... What's gonna happen? Okay, you see the bombs there. Uh, they're all magnets. They should release. I don't know if they're all gonna release at once or what's gonna happen here, but let's go... Here we go. Bombs are released. Uh-oh. There they go! Oh, that is cool! That is really cool looking. Uh-oh, I think we got one that's stuck. That could be bad news. <laughs> Shake it loose, there it goes. There go the bombs. Man, that would be cool to see a little explosions and stuff. But yeah, if you uh, if you need a World War II craft, this is definitely the workshop to check out. Because like I said, there's uh, fighters, bombers, and it seems like it's just being updated quite regularly. Alright, so last thing I figure we should do, we're going to go ahead and try to land this beast. And uh-oh, no, 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 we're not crash. No, we've already attempted the crashing portion. We've done that enough. Okay, let's get this thing level. There's an island over there that I'd like to get to. They got a runway that would be basically in line with us uh, as soon as we find... Actually, it just disappeared. Uh, visibility's a little low today, I guess. Okay, there's a mega island. No, it's not the mega island, I don't think. All right, let's see if we can find this island. There it is. Okay, they, oh, actually, there's our runway. So let's go ahead and start throttling down just a bit. Uh, it feels like the wind's fighting us, but I don't have any wind on right now. Uh, you know what? We might actually be parachuting down. Also, if the Stormworks devs are watching this video, a parachute would be very awesome to see. Just saying. I think that would be uh, some cool stuff. Yeah, we're going to parachute out of this thing. All right. And when I say parachute, we're jumping to our death. All right, here we go. Let's open this thing up. We're on the hatch. We're over the island. Here we go. Say goodbye to the bomber. Bye, bomber. That is going to crash in the ocean. Oh, look down. Oh, we're going to miss the island. Oh, no. Oh, this would hurt. Actually, this wouldn't hurt. You would die instantly. How fast we hit that water. Uh, hold on, let's see if we can still see the bomber. Yeah, I was thinking, man, maybe we can land this, but we were just way too high. And... Wait, is the bomber coming back around? Or is it going? I can't tell what it's doing. It might be going down. I'm not really sure. There she goes. And it is. Oh, there it is. And it floats. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's throttle still on, so I think it might be heading this way. <laughs> That's weird. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. I did want to show you, I know I said we're going to do plane crash survival, and it really just turned into plane crashes, because uh, I wasn't quite sure how those things were going to fly. Like, I wanted to wait until I was recording the video to test those out, because I wanted to really see if... Uh, it was gonna be like a big surprise and the explosion was epic, which it was epic, but I, I really do think it might be a Stormworks thing, the reason they don't fly that well. But yeah, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stormworks. I guess we're going to go hitch a ride again on our bomber. Uh, we will be uh, covering the update here, and we'll be doing some more creations. And then we will have some more multiplayer coming up too, which I'm pretty sure we're going to sink some things in that. So thank you guys for all the love and support on Stormworks. We're about to get chopped up in the blade here, so I guess we'll see you guys next time.